Good morning, Facebook people. Um, Kristen Kaufman here. Uh, Lulu and I just got back from uh, taking a long walk this morning here in Dallas. It's a little bit humid, so forgive the hair. It's a little bit frizzy this morning. I wanted to create a video this morning um, to actually address a question that a couple of my clients actually have asked me over the last couple of weeks, and I was wrestling with how I wanted to um, present it and really what my key points were that I wanted to share. Um, given that this is the um, my page around alignment, which for those of you who follow me know that I'm in the business of helping people create the lives that they want without giving up the creature comforts that they want. And one key aspect of that is the term um, alignment, which to me, my definition of that is loving what you do, being good at it, but most importantly, having it tied to something much greater than yourself. So the point that I wanted to talk about today was running our own race, because a lot of people have said to me, you know, I'm charting this, un, un, I'm going down this uncharted path, or I'm following the road less traveled, or I'm not following the conventional way of making a living or creating a life. I'm really coloring outside the lines. And, you know, I'm, I'm, I don't know if I'm doing it right. And I don't know what I'm doing. And oh my gosh, Kristen, you know, I just wonder if I've completely lost it. And so I thought, you know, I bet they're not the only people that are wondering that. So I thought I'd spend a couple of minutes this morning and share some thoughts that I have about creating the life that you want and specifically running your race. Um, I've written a couple of books on this and I'm going to take a couple of points from the second book of my series is the seat taken because I think it is so relevant for everyone. So the first thing is we have the power of choice. We can choose anything we want to do in life. We can choose how we want to contribute. We can choose who we want to be friends with. We can choose where we want to live. That is a beautiful thing that we have here, and especially in the United States of America, where we have freedom to do what it is we want to do, and we have the power of choice. So my daddy used to say we control three things in life. We control our attitude, our behavior, and our choices, our ABCs. We don't control anybody else's, but we do control our own. So the power of choice is really important. Never feel like you don't have the ability to choose. In fact, by not choosing, you are choosing. So that's the first thing. So if, if in fact, the, the term running your own race resonates with you, you can choose your race. That's number one. Number two. Follow your strengths, follow your passion. Uh, Joseph Campbell, one of my favorite um, writers and, and philosophers of all time, used to say, follow your bliss. And I believe that if you follow your bliss and you follow how it is you truly want to contribute in the world, you will be fulfilled. You will be aligned because you will love what you're doing. You undoubtedly will be good at it because you love it. And it will be tied to something much greater than yourself. So that's the second thing. Follow your bliss. And if you don't really know what it is that you love or how, watch yourself, observe yourself. I coach people every day to just observe themselves in the moment during the day. And when they get to do something at work, what is it that they look forward to? What is it, what aspect of their job really turns them on? And what aspect do they kind of roll their eyes and say, oh my gosh, I have to do this again. Listen to those whispers because that will give you a hint as to what it is that perhaps will be your calling and how you want to contribute in the world. The third thing, I'm a huge believer in the power of diversification. So it doesn't mean that one size fits all and that you choose one path and that's the only path you can go down. In fact, I'm a big believer in having multiple paths of how you want to contribute in the world and how you want to bring in revenue for yourself. So diversification is important in anything that we do. The food we eat, the exercise we, uh, we embark upon. We don't want to just do the same exercise every day. We don't want to eat the same food every day. We want to, don't want to necessarily have the same kind of friends. We want to have diversity in our life, food, exercise, friends, and jobs and how we contribute. So again, listen to yourself on that. I do think that the diversification needs to have some sort of a common denominator. For me, um, my whole mantra in life is helping people actualize their potential and becoming all they can be. So pretty much everything I do professionally um, and probably even uh, voc uh, avocationally as well has some sort of a tie to that. My leadership coaching business, my leadership consulting business, the books I'm writing, the um, the keynote speaking that I'm giving, uh, my direct sales business, all of those things are tied to helping people either determine what it is that they need and want to do and contribute in their, in their life, and perhaps even giving them a vehicle in which to plug in. So that's the second thing. The fourth thing, define success on your terms. 
No one ever can tell you what success is in your life but you. You answer to yourself and you answer to your, your creator. And that's really all. And so you define success on your terms. Success may not be accumulating multiple seven figures in a bank account or in the Cayman Islands or having multiple houses or whatever. It might be becoming a hospice chaplain and helping people you know, navigate the last few days of their lives on this planet. Whatever success is, you define that. And in fact, the second book that I wrote talks all about people finding success late in life and how it took on a completely different trajectory than what they thought when they first embarked upon their careers. So, um, you know, again, you define success on your own terms. And then the last thing that I would say, it is never, ever too late to create the life you want. And I think so many times we think it is. I mean, I have been there. I'm 58 years old. I have never married. I do not have children. I have followed a very unconventional path for my life. Uh, Lulu and I, you know, have created this wonderful life for ourselves, but it is not what the norm is. I live in Dallas, Texas, which is a very conventional place in which to live. Um, big houses and big hair and big jobs and big revenue streams are, frankly, kind of the the what we're known for in Dallas. And I had to seek my own level and I had to find out what it was I really wanted to do and who I wanted to be friends with and how I wanted to contribute in the world. And nobody gets the, gets the ability to define success for myself other than me. So those are just my thoughts here on a Wednesday morning um, for my followers. And I hope that it might give you some pause, uh, cause for pause, so to speak, and maybe give you something to think about how you can create your aligned life and how you can embrace running your own race and determining how it is that you want to contribute and not, not letting anyone else take that power away from you. And if this resonates with you at all, I would love to talk to you. I have been where you are. Um, I would love to be in service to you. I'll put my contact information in the comment section below. And if there is any way that I can help you navigate your, your life, determine how you can create a more aligned life, how you might want to investigate a portfolio career, how you might want to investigate um, bringing in another revenue stream to give you some financial cushion, um, I absolutely would welcome the opportunity to talk to you about my rationale, how I um, was able to determine that for myself and create this life for myself. And what works for you, great. What doesn't work for you, great but oftentimes it does help to share with somebody who's, who's basically worn those moccasins. So with that, make it a wonderful Wednesday. Um, I'm in the business of helping people create the life they want. So if I can help you in any way, I would welcome that. All right, make it a good one.